are watching Kit Cabinet and in this video I will make a diorama base from a photo frame. Okay, we're going to turn this photo frame into a base. And first we're going to take this apart. And get out this pane of glass. Now what you could do is like reverse everything and make the base uh, on this piece of cardboard and put everything back. So this could serve as a base but I'm going to use a piece of hardboard that I have here. The next step, I'm going to take some white glue and then just apply it to the surface here, Zip, smear it out, let's make sure every spot is covered. I've got this little sieve here and I have a jar of... Um, of sand. This is uh, simply taken from a sand sandbox, a playing sandbox, and uh, I'm just going to spread it all over this little plate here. You see that the rough pieces uh, are left behind on the sieve, something like this. And now we wait. Okay, now we can take this sand off and just be left with this. Now these uh, frame backings come in all sorts and sizes. And this one's just made of cardboard. I'm gonna need these uh, clamps here, but I won't need this stand, so I'm going to take that one off. Let's get something out of there. Carefully rip it up. Yeah, this one has a bit of cheap cardboard racking, uh, packing. But just as long as these uh, clamps here are in position. What I also do is uh, take some sanding paper. As I said, these frames come in uh, all sorts and sizes. And this one has uh, some white paint on the, on the borders. So I rough this uh, up a bit with uh, some sanding paper. Because I think it's, uh, yeah, a bit too clean. And I want, want to go for some other effect. Now I have this stuff. It's called uh, Patina. Uh, this is the Dutch brand from uh, from Thailand. I don't know what it would be called in uh, in English, but basically it's some s sort of stain. It's a thin oil paint kind of stuff. What you just do is you take some on a makeup removing pad, and then whoops, careful with this. And just smear it all over the frame and it will get in all, into all the cracks and then and, and little scratches and will also bring out the, the wood structure uh, again. This has been painted over with white lacquer and that's maybe uh, unless of course you you'd like a very stark border depending uh, on what type of frame you have. You can basically use any type of frame. Sometimes they come in black plastic or aluminium or whatever. And yeah, I like uh, something that appears like natural wood. So that's what I'm trying to achieve here. 
and then you take like a fresh pad and take nearly everything off again and you'll be ending up with this really nice subtle yeah lightly woody antique color which looks hell of a lot better in my opinion than this uh, white lacquered wood but then again that's uh, all up to you what you want your frame to look like now that the sand has dried you can basically already mount it into the frame but to make the base a bit more interesting we're going to add some bits and pieces like maybe a couple of rocks and what I have here is basically cat litter and you can just Put a couple of rocks onto your base. So I'm going to glue some of these rocks on there. Now I know in reality you would normally clear your field of rocks with taxiing airplanes and everything. But it the base looks a bit more interesting if there's a bit more to see than just plain sand. And which brings us to the next thing to yeah living up this base. I have some uh, static grass as well. I'm going to add a couple of blobs of glue and then yeah see if we can get some uh, some color in this uh, in this base and just sprinkle it on there. And I know it's static grass, you have to have this machine where the grass will stand up straight. But for small tufts like this, this will work just fine. Like so. And we'll let this dry for a bit. So now we have a uh, some small bits of grass that will break up the monotony. Okay, so these rocks here are a little bit on the bright side, so I'm going to tone them down with some uh, thin paint. And because it's cat litter, it will like absorb the paint uh, a bit. Okay, the next step, these uh, pieces uh, of grass look a bit bright, they look a bit fresh. And it's not really like something that you would like expect in a sandy, maybe a desert setting. So I'm going to brush them a bit with some uh, some sand color, so that you get a bit of this dried grass effect. That there's some green left there, but just to tone the the brightness, the fresh brightness down a bit. You can even like dry brush those rocks a bit so you get this overall dusty feel of everything. The base is uh, basically done now so I'm going to mount it into the frame. Up. And we have the backing plate here. Was this this bit was damaged, so I had a little sticker on there, and this should tighten up everything just nicely. So there's your base, and that's all there's to it. A quick, simple, easy base, and of course these photo frames come in all kinds of sizes. You can go like totally crazy with a a grassy field or maybe an airfield with concrete tiles so you have like options galore so I've only got this to add stay safe and happy modeling